Well, there are TV commercials that no matter how hard you try, stay in your head. They're impossible to forget. And whether they're selling cereal, cars or even international flights, here in Australia we've produced some classic, some controversial and some very funny ads over the decades. We've all got our own favourite Australian television advertisement, but what really makes a good ad? We asked TV experts Dee Madigan and Andrew Mikado. I think what Australians really like in ads is something that makes us smile and something that feels uniquely Australian, and we love a good jingle. A catchy theme song, one of our popular personalities. That's what we like to see in our local ads. Let's start at the beginning of television and some happy little Vegemites. One of our earliest buddies on the box was Louis the Fly, who always seemed to get back up. Take that word, Martin. The 70s came and Louis wouldn't have been a fan of Aeroguard. Have a good weekend, Mr Walker. You too, son. While in the 80s we cracked a crumble, a crumble. and fired up the barbecues for our American mates. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. It really made the rest of the world sit up and take notice and seriously start to think about us as a tourist destination. So good on your Hogs. He did the ads for free and lots of tourists came down here because of him. Thanks to the Aussie Outback, we never ate corn the same way. Marge, Marge, the rain's are here. And don't forget the boy who helped us to remember who can fix the car. That's 13, 30, 32. There's been so many great Australian ads, but I think Qantas, I still call Australia home with the choir kids singing it. You know, you'd see that and you'd be like, oh my God. I still call Australia home. But when it comes to lasting phrases... One of the catchiest things about ads is that they have to have a catchphrase. And 90s oh, ads had Jan this in one. spades. Not happy Jan, we're still saying it today and everyone knows exactly what TV commercial we're referring to. And at the turn of the millennium, Jan went from All being brand, yelled at to brand. being too tall. Yeah. All brand. It's delicious. Malicious? Tall Jan is malicious. What? I heard what you said. Tall Jan is malicious. No. Pathetic. Banana Boat Banana began its boat. bright and sunny venture. Banana Boat! While Rhonda and Katut would have surely slipped, slopped and slapped during their island romance. It was sort of like a soap. You know, one ad led into the next instalment of that story. And everyone loves a romance and most of us go to Bali. Thank you. You look so hot today. Oh. Like a sunrise. You're naughty. But the ad that caught us all out as parents... Why did they make the Great Wall of China? So many parents related to the fact that the internet was here and their kids were finding out everything and they were finding out that we didn't know everything. That, that was during a year, time of Emperor Nazi Goring and uh, it was to keep the rabbits out. There's too many rabbits in China. Uh, We've all done it, haven't we? The delivery is everything. So clever. And I love when humour is used oh, in ads because it really does, it sticks with you and it cuts through. I like through. the pause where you think that was. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I do that with my kids too. Sometimes they ask <laughs> tough questions. You're like, oh, I'll give it my best shot. Yeah, yeah. welcome to the club. Yeah. That's what we can do. <laughs> when you can't Google it, you know, yeah, you've got to use your imagination. Where you can make can. it up. How good is that Codrill TV commercial that's on at the moment? <laughs> that's eh? quite good too, Stevie. <laughs> Classic. Speaking of comedy. Groundbreaking. <laughs> now, lots of you have been sharing your favourites with us as well. Keep the feedback coming. Sandy loves this old Coddy's commercial TV ad as well. That's right. Yeah. Chris, are we going to play a bit of it? Have we got it? My dad picks My the fruit. My dad yeah, picks okay. the fruit that That's goes the one. to Coddy's. That's the one. To make the cordial <laughs> that, that I, I like best. best. What about this one? Chris reckons uh, the ones from... There it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Just no audio. Anyway, you provided the audio. Let's move on. Chris says, how good was the one from Specsavers? <laughs> yeah. They're expensive, though. They're the special thin ones, aren't they? Mm, there's 25% off lenses, too. Don't worry, I'm not spending the inheritance. Good. I'm leaving it to Derek. Hi, Derek. <laughs> Judy's all-time <laughs> favourite is the bugger ad from Toyota. Yeah, good one.
Back it. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> we all said that, that once or twice. And uh, Emily says the no, Gary, no is an absolute classic. Gary? No, Gary, no! No, Gary, no! No, Gary! Oh, <laughs> they are good. Yeah. The recent Audi ads, I reckon, have been very clever as well, you know, where you really stop in your tracks and... It's just, again, great use of comedy. So um, yeah. keep your suggestions coming. We love playing a few old ads. I, know, well, I still like the Go Go Mobile one. Yeah. G or G G or. Yeah, I, I wondered what you were doing before then. I was like, then the penny dropped. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stepped behind you all morning this morning, <laughs> Stevie. The old VB ads, you remember? John Mellion's voice. Oh, Classic. yeah. I, I, you can I, get, I it. get it walking. I yeah. can get it yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I've got it right now. Yeah. Get it reading the news. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact. I've got it right now. Yeah. Well, it is Friday. Shall we? <laughs> Keep Why the feedback not? coming. We'll play some more during the course of the day.